Okay, I've got a piece of newspaper that will fit around the bottle. Because um, you have to use newspaper between the clay and the bottle to stop the clay sticking. And you need an overlap that's going to be about the same as about three times the thickness of the clay you're going to make. I'm going to use the bottle to roll out the clay. I've pushed some clay out into the right sort of shape and stop the bottle sticking. I'm going to put another cloth over the top. Just roll, roll that out a bit. I usually use a wooden rolling pin for this, but you might not have one that you want to use. Um, so let's see how it's going. You could use something to get the thickness even, and I've got some chopsticks which I'm going to use. You might find something else at home. And the bottle can go across that. Stop it going too thin. But you don't have to use thicknessing sticks, you could just do it by eye. This is a bit of a challenge, really. Okay, I've rolled out the clay large enough now to fit the newspaper on, so I know that's going to be enough clay to go around the bottle. And I've also got to roll out the piece for the base, so I'm going to do that now, since I'm using the bottle as a rolling pin. Um, okay, you can push that out a bit, start it in the right way, make it a bit quicker. It's got to be big enough um, to take the bottle with clay around it, it's a bit bigger than that. That's wrong there. This is about the same thickness as the piece that's going to go around to make the cylinder. I think that'll be right. And I've got some cardboard to put that on, if you don't have a wooden board, cardboard will do. Just have to remember it's not very strong when you pick the whole thing up. So I'll put that to one side. Now this piece is right around the bottle. Let's cut that. So I'll cut um, out from the paper pattern. If you're making something and you want it all over impress pattern on it, you could impress the clay before you do this you'd need to turn it over then before you do the next stage. Right, so let's keep those bits in case they're useful. Okay. So I'm going to wrap the newspaper around the bottle now, tightly. Try and keep it in shot this time. It needs to line up with the bottom of the bottle and you could use a piece of tape just here if you wanted to hold that tight, but I'm not going to do that. Um, and then I've got to line this up with the edge of the clay and use the cloth to start it going. Roll it up, keeping the clay tight to the bottle. Pull back the cloth. And then before you go all the way round, if you just tamp down that edge, then as it comes round, it'll make a nice join. Hopefully it's enough clay. Just just. If you get all the way round and you find you haven't quite rolled enough clay, unroll it and just make the clay a bit thinner and then it should work. Now if I'd, um, if I'd allowed more and there was a big overlap um, I'd have had to trim some off because you don't want a huge overlap there. Um, you might trap air as you smooth it. So I'm just smoothing that down to make the join on the outside. And there's just enough there. And then I'll sit this on top of the base and trim round and leave about three millimetres of the clay sticking out. And just 
actually I'm going to join that then. You can use a knife or you could use your um, toothbrush handle or a spoon handle, something like that, to just join the clay up like that. Okay, I've trimmed around the rest of the base and I've been joining it up with the spoon handle, making it smooth. And to check that the bottle's vertical in there, you can do that by just turning it, tucking that. And you don't want to lean on the bottle because that's going to push down into the base. The bottle should able, be able to just um, move. Oops, hopefully. Move slightly in there. Let's see if I put that little end to the base. Way there. No, there we are. So just gently turn that, check it's free. And we can do some smoothing with my trusty margarine spreader. Be careful you don't trim back off your join. Um, you've made a nice overlap join around the base. You don't want to be trimming anything away there because that might just cut it all away. Right, so now you've got that as smooth as you want it. Then you can just take the bottle out, take out your newspaper, and then you can work on the join on the inside if you want. You need to support it as you do it. Support it on the outside. You don't need to do anything inside the, the base because you've done an overlap join which is very strong. So you don't need to put a coil in or anything like that. And then that can be, if you want a cylinder, that can just be left to dry a bit till you do the next thing to it. Or um, if you want to change the shape, you could, um, you could say use a spoon on the inside and just gently go around and smooth it on the inside. So you're pushing it out into a different shape. There's lots of possibilities that you can do. You could pinch it thinner at the top if you want, or you could just smooth it. 